Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, I'll try to be on time. Uh, otherwise, I'll just stand when you tell me. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna tell you about some work we did in Florence with Andrea Tesi concerning inflation production of dark sectors, uh, secluded dark sectors, uh, in particular dark photons uh, and uh, uh, sectors that undergo a phase transition. Uh, so let me start with uh, uh, some uh, motivation, I say. Um, so of course, uh, we all know that uh, the elements that we have for dark matter is uh, uh, are all due to gravity. However, uh, we are very eager to see uh, dark matter in experiments. Uh, and so uh, most of the times uh, you assume that dark matter has uh, some interaction with standard model. And if this is the case, uh, uh, well, the, the future is quite bright for the subject. Uh, and we may discover dark matter in the uh, in the uh, in the, my lifetime, uh, which is uh, uh, very reassuring. However, given the situation, current situation uh, uh, today, uh, you might wonder if this is really uh, wishful thinking. Uh, and uh, I think uh, more and more people are, start, uh, are starting to take seriously the possibility that dark matter just interacts with gravitation. So the question is what we can do if uh, that matter interacts gravitationally. And uh, let me be honest, uh, from the beginning, uh, uh, the truth is that uh, uh, it's quite possible that uh, we will never know what that matter is. Yeah. Uh, but it's not up, up to us to choose. So I think uh, uh, we still have to explore uh, this possibility, which is uh, uh, more and more relevant. And there is uh, many questions that you may have uh, about that matter. Uh, what I want to discuss in this in, uh, in this talk uh, is uh, uh, the simplest uh, mechanism to produce uh, uh, that matter in a, uh, in a dark sector, which is not connected to the standard model. Now, also here there is uh, uh, essentially an infinite number of possibilities uh, that you might imagine uh, to populate the dark, the dark sector, uh, which are however, are however model dependent. So, for example, you may imagine that the influence uh, decays uh, or scatters into the uh, dark sector states, uh, or there could be some uh, bridge at a very high scale between uh, the dark matter sector and uh, the visible sector that, uh, for example, set the initial temperature of the, of the dark sector equal to the one of the standard model. Uh, but these uh, are all uh, model dependent and required to go uh, beyond the minimal uh, uh, scenario where dark matter only interacts through gravity. So I think it's fun, uh, and uh, uh, maybe we'll learn uh, also something, uh, uh, asking the question whether that matter can be uh, produced by gravity itself. Now, there is uh, uh, essentially two unavoidable mechanisms uh, in a standard cosmology, and in standard cosmology are also including inflation, uh, to produce that matter uh, from, uh, 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 to produce that matter gravitation. So the first one uh, is just, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, what I call the gravitational physique, uh, which is a production of dark matter states uh, from the uh, standard model thermal buff. Uh, so this is controlled by uh, the cross-section uh, of the dark matter annihilating to standard model states uh, and uh, uh, is uh, uh, completely uh, determined by this uh, uh, annihilation cross-section. And it is only relevant uh, in uh, uh, essentially in the uh, in the relativistic regime uh, where that matter is produced at the beginning relativistically. And uh, uh, you can do the computation. Uh, uh, is uh, uh, it only depends uh, on the repeating temperature. And uh, uh, so let's talk about the abundance. The abundance depends on the repeating temperature and uh, uh, on the. Uh, uh, Expecting number of degrees of freedom uh, of the dark sector. So, more precisely, you see this is what uh, uh, people call uh, 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 the central charge in conformal field theories. So, this is what you get is very predictive, uh, but it might be very relevant uh, if the heating temperature is not very large. Uh, one of the themes of this talk will be uh, interactions uh, uh, for uh, uh, gravitational and inflationary production of dark matter. And uh, uh, it's interesting that uh, uh, already in this case, uh, uh, thermalization may change the abundance of dark matter, uh, uh, actually changes the, uh, uh, the abundance of dark matter if the system thermalizes. The other mechanism to produce dark matter uh, is uh, uh, quantum production, uh, which is a, a phenomenon that happens every time that you have a time-dependent background. 
And uh, uh, so it is uh, uh, known uh, that in a time-dependent background, uh, uh, particles are just produced from the, from the vacuum because the non adiabatic uh, uh, evolution of the vacuum, uh, of the initial vacuum, uh, gives you a state which is uh, uh, filled with particles. Um, and this is uh, also uh, at the origin of uh, primordial fluctuation and inflation, of course. So to, to set the stage, uh, let me consider uh, just a scalar uh, with mass m. And uh, I will also add a, a couple to curvature, which is important uh, in this talk. Uh, so you can derive the, uh, the, uh, the equation of motion can, that can be cast in the form of uh, a time-dependent harmonic oscillator. And uh, uh, by solving the equation for uh, the time-dependent uh, uh, harmonic oscillator, you can uh, uh, determine uh, how many particles are produced. Okay. So the initial state is uh, in, a, in a vacuum state. Uh, of the region of the region uh, of uh, at the sound frequency, but due to the non adiabatic evolution of the of the frequency, uh, this state uh, is interpreted at late times at late times uh, as a, a state with particles. And so the technology to determine this is uh, uh, to study uh, to solve the uh, the equation of motion uh, and uh, determine the so-called Bogoliubov coefficients. I will not go into details. So, but this can be done. Uh, very, uh, very precise in quantum field theory. Now, let me first consider minimal coupling, uh, which is very well known. It, it what happens for the inflaton during inflation, uh, for, for the inflaton. Uh, so during inflation, you have that, uh, so the, the production of, of uh, uh, particles is, is very intense. And uh, uh, each mode is uh, uh, produced with uh, uh, a large occupation number, uh, which amounts to an amplitude which is uh, uh, Hubble divided by 2 pi. And this uh, amplitude remains constant uh, until uh, uh, horizon reentry. And uh, this uh, uh, gives you the abundance uh, uh, that I, I wrote here, which is uh, uh, proportional to hi square and the root square of m. So in this talk, I will uh, uh, report all the time rho divided by s. Uh, which in order to produce the uh, abundance of dark matter today should be of the order of 0 0.4 electron volts. <clears throat> yeah. So from this you get the uh, the abundance of dark matter uh, made of uh, uh, of this uh, minimally coupled scalar uh, today, and uh, uh, you see that you can get uh, so this uh, uh, so this abundance, uh, and uh, you can get in this way very uh, light dark matter which is produced non thermally. Now, this is very great, but uh, uh, unfortunately, this model is uh, absolutely excluded because uh, uh, the spectrum uh, uh, of energy um, is, uh, uh, is, a flat, is a flat in the infrared. It means uh, that you have a lot of power in the infrared, and it is uh, uh, grossly excluded by uh, as a, as a coverage constraints uh, from, uh, from, CN, from CND. Uh, so, this, uh, uh, so this mechanism is what works for the infraton, but it will not work for, uh, uh, for dark matter. Let me now consider uh, the case uh, uh, C equal to one sixth. So in the, this formula here, uh, as you may notice, uh, uh, what you find uh, uh, is that in the massless limit, uh, the, uh, for C equal to one sixth, uh, you have just the uh, a time, de time independent uh, harmonic oscillator, which means uh, that uh, there will be no particle production uh, uh, in uh, for C equal to one sixth. Uh, at least if m is equal to zero, and the limit of m is equal to zero. And this uh, happens, of course, because uh, for a reason, uh, it happens uh, uh, due to the fact that uh, c equal to one sixth, uh, the, uh, the, the coupling, uh, uh, so the, the action acquires uh, uh, value invariance, and so you can actually scale the time-dependent metric and go to, uh, to a completely flat background, and uh, so there is no particle production. So this, uh, in fact, is uh, uh, completely general. Uh, so in general, particle production uh, uh, is equal to zero if you have a violin violent theory, which uh, technically speaking means that the trace of the energy momentum tensor is equal to zero. So all the production uh, due to time-dependent background uh, is due to violation of, uh, uh, of a violin violence in your theory. Uh, which uh, for the minimal couple scalar is uh, already uh, order one uh, at the level of, of the kinetic term, but uh, uh, in uh, all the other theories uh, uh, is not violated by kinetic terms. So in fact, uh, so this condition uh, is always true 
for a uh, for a uh, for a uh, theories with famous gauge field and also uh, this uh, uh, believed to to be a constraint on uh, on uh, uh, on CFTs, uh, so they should have a the trace energy momentum tensor equal to zero. So it's only violated uh, uh, in practice uh, by uh, minimally coupled scalars. And minimally coupled scalars, uh, uh, the only way uh, to uh, to really justify them uh, is uh, if they arise uh, as a ghost bosons, uh, because uh, a ghost boson has a shift symmetry that forbids the coupling to permission. Yeah. So in practical terms, uh, when you go in the relativistic regime, uh, uh, essentially, any theory uh, has the property that uh, uh, this uh, trace of TV nu is equal to zero, and so value minus is restored. Okay. Uh, so, because of this, uh, for all these theories, the, uh, the particle production is, uh, uh, is very small uh, because it is uh, controlled by the parameters that break the value invariance, uh, uh, in particular for, uh, uh, for framers, will be the mass, for example, or for uh, for CFT will be uh, a dynamical scale that uh, uh, they may acquire. So, so what I want to discuss, so this was a bit uh, a very short review of particle production. Uh, so what I want to discuss uh, uh, is uh, uh, the effect of interactions uh, uh, on, uh, uh, on uh, particle production in the early universe. Because the discussion uh, of uh, inflation of uh, particle production uh, is often done at the level of three theories. And uh, what I will show is that this uh, uh, can have an important impact. Uh, in particular, we consider uh, the case of uh, dark photon, dark matter. And then uh, uh, in, uh, uh, I will also uh, uh, introduce uh, a mechanism uh, that uh, uh, allows to populate the dark sector through phase transitions uh, uh, if the, the dark sector has also has interactions that lead to a phase transition. So let me start with, uh, uh, um, with uh, uh, dark photon dark matter, also known uh, as vector dark matter, which is uh, uh, the hypothesis that dark matter is the spin one uh, vector field. And apparently, there is a, a lot of interest in, uh, in this subject, uh, which is summarized uh, in this plot, uh, where the theory is, uh, is uh, which is, uh, um, so the, the theory is, the, is uh, um, uh, depends on two parameters, uh, which is the, uh, the mass of, uh, of the dark matter and the uh, decoupling through the kinetic mixing to the, uh, uh, to the photon of the standard model. And, uh, uh, so this, uh, uh, so this actually is even beyond the dark matter. So these theories uh, are considered uh, also for collider experiments. And there is a lot of experimental effort uh, that is uh, trying to test uh, uh, this, uh, this type of theories. Uh, and uh, uh, for what concerns dark matter that I will discuss uh, uh, in this talk, uh, so we are talking about the region below this, uh, uh, this white line. So there is a lot of work uh, uh, in this direction, uh, which uh, focuses on what is called uh, uh, Stuckerberg dark photons so that uh, uh, I will uh, uh, I will now discuss. So when you talk about the massive spin one, uh, there is in fact uh, uh, two theories. Uh, one is the uh, Stuckerberg construction, uh, and the other is the Higgs construction. And uh, most of the uh, emphasis for dark photon dark matter is certainly on the Stuckerberg. Stuckerberg uh, uh, hypothesis. So the difference between these two can be summarized uh, in an equation. Okay. So for Stuckerberg we have three, which is equal to plus one. I will explain it. And for Higgs uh, you have that two plus two is equal to three plus one, which is equal to four. So let me let me explain this. Uh, so the so-called Stuckerberg mechanism uh, is uh, something that uh, uh, works only for uh, uh, U1 uh, gauge field. Because uh, for a U1 gauge field, for a U1 uh, um, uh, part, U1, uh, well, U1 gauge field, you can introduce a mass uh, just uh, uh, through uh, considering the proper Lagrangian. And because this is a free theory, uh, you have that this, uh, uh, this theory is, uh, uh, is, uh, uh, is valid up to arbitrary scales. Uh, so in this way, you, this, uh, in, a, in a sense, is the most minimal theory from the point of view of degrees of freedom, because you, have, you know that a massive uh, uh, spin-1 uh, uh, has three degrees of freedom, uh, so the simplest, uh, uh, the most minimal uh, option 
uh, is to add this longitude of degree of freedom, uh, uh, which is this case uh, here. Now, this is very special to uh, U1. For example, uh, if you had an abelian theory, you certainly cannot give uh, uh, the mass in this way because uh, uh, if you add the mass, you also ruin uh, the validity of the theory to, to the high scale. Uh, so, in fact, uh, uh, so, so the other way that you may want to, uh, to give a mass uh, to, uh, uh, to SP1 particle is, of course, the, the Higgs mechanism. Um, and uh, uh, in this case, uh, for the U1, uh, uh, you, can, uh, uh, well, you can have a, a field, a complex field that acquires a valve and uh, uh, breaks what kinds of the symmetry. And uh, uh, on the, in, the, in, the, in the vacuum of the theory, you have a, a massive spin one particle and the, uh, and, the, and the real scale, which is the Higgs. Uh, so, so once you take this, uh, uh, so in this realization, there is uh, two things which are important. One is that there is uh, four degrees of freedom necessary. This is the minimum. There is other ways to do it, but uh, the minimum number is uh, equal to four. Uh, and the other is that there is a uh, there is interaction. Okay. And uh, if you think about the standard model, uh, uh, well, uh, you sort of have a preference for the for the Higgs mechanism. But also, uh, in fact, we don't know of any system that uh, uh, realizes uh, a Stuckerberg, uh, the photon light uh, object. For example, superconductivity, uh, you have a massive U1, but you understand it uh, uh, also in that case uh, uh, from, a, uh, from, a, from a Higgs mechanism. Uh, so, anyway, uh, from a theoretical point of view, both options uh, are, uh, are viable, and you may have uh, a theoretical bias. Uh, 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 between uh, between the two, one is uh, has less degrees of freedom uh, and is simpler. The other has uh, has more structure. What I will discuss is the, what changes in the discussion of the Stuckerberg dark matter uh, once you realize uh, uh, with the Higgs mechanism. So let me tell you what is great about uh, uh, Stuckerberg dark matter, uh, which solves the problem that I mentioned for uh, the minimally coupled scalar. Now, if you go at the high energies, uh, SP1 particle, uh, you can decompose it as a, a massless uh, uh, SP1 field uh, plus a, a longitudinal scalar. And uh, uh, this scalar is minimally coupled <laughs> and is produced uh, uh, as a minimally coupled scalar at, at the beginning of inflation. Uh, so this uh, could lead to problems, but uh, uh, in this theory, it happens that uh, the evolution uh, uh, is different because the longitudinal mode uh, satisfies uh, this, uh, uh, this complicated equation. And uh, so, in fact, uh, so physically, this is due to the fact that uh, uh, so this decomposition between uh, uh, scalar and uh, uh, spin one is only valid in the high energy regime. But when the particle becomes more relativistic, uh, the longitudinal component, component is just like the others. Yeah. And this uh, uh, makes a difference uh, in such a way that the, uh, uh, well, the evolution of uh, mode uh, super horizon uh, is, uh, is different uh, in, uh, in these two theories. And so what one finds at the level of the uh, power spectrum is that the, uh, the amplitude uh, is the same as the one of the scalar, uh, but uh, uh, this, uh, uh, there is a, a cutoff K star, uh, which, uh, uh, which is, uh, a, uh, well, uh, is not a, a cosmological disk, uh, so it's uh, is not a cosmological scale, it's much shorter, uh, in such a way that uh, uh, so the power spectrum is cut it off with the k square at short scales. Yeah. Uh, but you still get a, a, a lot of power uh, at this intermediate scale uh, k star. So this is great because it solves the uh, isocurvature perturbations uh, uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, exclude the, uh, the simplest case of the minimally coupled scalar. Yeah. Could you explain intuitively what the physics that gives you this suppression compared to the scalar? I mean, what is really so? Uh, so, so there is a. Uh, so if, if you are familiar with this plot, uh, so in this phase uh, you have that the uh, a mode uh, uh, with k. So this uh, uh, on the y-axis there is one over k. Yeah. Okay. So the, this mode uh, in this region they are non-relativistic. Uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, so the energy density uh, for the minimal couple scalar uh, would just be constant until uh, uh, until h is equal to m. Yeah. 
for the massive vector, however, it goes like one over a square, and this uh, extra redshift uh, redshift uh, is uh, uh, is what gives the power spectrum. Okay. Uh, so in this region, uh, you cannot think anymore of uh, the longitudinal uh, degree of freedom as a scalar, okay? Because it's really uh, a, it, it's really a vector, okay? Uh, the, the three polarization they are on the same ground, okay? okay. And uh, uh, so this is what. Uh, uh, so more intuitively, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, so I know the technical uh, derivation. Yeah. There is a difference certainly with the scalar. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. In this block, the scalar is the minimally coupled one. It's not uh, the, the longitudinal mode. So the longitudinal mode uh, at uh, uh, very high energy okay, is a uh, minimally coupled because uh, it's a Goldstone boson uh, for uh, uh, is a is a Goldstone boson. Yes. yes. So it's minimally coupled. And then the, the, the next next slide. Yeah. So here, when you write the, the scalar with the plateau, ah, this this, uh, this will be the minimally coupled scalar. Exactly. Okay. okay. So this plateau is what uh, uh, excludes this uh, this this, uh, uh, this scenario, but uh, this uh, uh, is uh, cut it off uh, in the case of dark force. Yeah. So this is the reason why people like uh, dark force and dark matter inflation and production. Yeah. Let me now go to the uh, Higgs realization. Okay. So the simplest scenario you may think. Uh, uh, it's just uh, the uh, the abelian Higgs model, and the only uh, new thing that I add uh, is a coupling to curvature, which is important in this discussion. Now, if you go uh, in uh, uh, in flat space, uh, this is of course not relevant, uh, and you have that uh, uh, the mass of the dark foson is g times f, uh, and there is also a radial mode which has this mass. Okay. Now, the dynamics depends uh, uh, on uh, uh, on the scale of inflation. Because during inflation and on on C, because during inflation, uh, this coupling to curvature actually gives you uh, a, a positive mass term, and so this positive mass term uh, may uh, be more important than the instability that you have uh, in the potential. So you have different phases. So this is uh, in part similar to uh, discussion uh, for the uh, for the axiom. Uh, so you can have a, say, you can have the situation where the uh, symmetry is broken uh, uh, during inflation uh, and afterwards, uh, and this is realized uh, when uh, uh, Hubble during inflation is less than the scale f. In fact, there is also a second condition, uh, which is a condition on uh, uh, on C, uh, which is given by this, and this would also be true uh, for the action, even though it's never discussed uh, uh, in that context. So since the symmetry is uh, uh, is always broken, the degrees of freedom here are all the time uh, uh, the vector, the spin one, the massive field, uh, and the uh, and the Higgs. However, already this, at this level, the dynamics is more dependent. Now you may try to reproduce the Stuckelberg dark matter results. In order to do so, uh, you should choose that uh, the mass of the uh, of the uh, that photon uh, uh, is less than h, uh, while the mass of the uh, scalar is uh, bigger than h. And in this case, uh, you would do you would reproduce the uh, the abundance uh, of uh, uh, of that photon dark matter. Uh, uh, GMR stands for uh, uh, Graham Marvin Rajendra that wrote this nice paper. Uh, however, if you look at, at from the point of view uh, of uh, uh, of the uh, of the Higgs Lagrangian. Uh, you see that uh, in order to, uh, to to have a light dark photon, which is what you like because what is exciting for experiments, uh, you need uh, to have uh, a super small coming, so a ridiculous coming as small as the Tesla Mark 28 yeah, at the at the lowest end. So this is uh, uh, already something that uh, most people would not like, uh, uh, but such small couplings, in fact, may even be excluded by the uh, weak gravity conjecture. Uh, let me give you a very a simple argument. So, Gary Bongen tells you that uh, uh, in the simplest version, the cutoff of the theory should go should go to zero with the uh, with the gauge coupling, because in that limit you recover a global symmetry. Uh, however, uh, you want a, a high scale of inflation, uh, so for consistency, you need to have that the scale of inflation should be less than uh, uh, this cutoff. So this implies a bound uh, that uh, the, the mass uh, of the dark photon should be bigger than uh, 50 GV. And uh, uh, so this uh, uh, makes uh, this uh, type of construction. So if this is true, 
uh, it makes uh, that photo dark matter to be the mechanism is less exciting for the point of view of experiments. All the pressure is on, on having a light dark matter because it's where you, know, you will see something. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, there is issues about the UV uh, realization, uh, even with two capabilities that people have discussed. Uh, it's not clear whether you can really make this gap uh, large even in that case, even though the argument is, uh, is different. So let me now go uh, to uh, the, a different phase uh, where the mass, uh, both uh, the mass of the that photon and uh, of, the, of the Higgs uh, are less than H. So now the different the situation is different uh, uh, from uh, uh, that photo dark matter because there is also the scalar that participates with the dynamics, and in, in particular this uh, uh, this scalar will be produced if it has minimal coupling. In fact, uh, in this uh, uh, region parameter space, uh, uh, in the X phase, uh, this is uh, necessary. Uh, so the, the scalar will be produced, uh, uh, and so it will be produced with these uh, bad idle curvature perturbations uh, uh, that uh, uh, that are problem problematic. And uh, uh, so if it's heavy, it will actually decay to that photon, so it will generate uh, an abundance uh, uh, of, uh, of that photon from the uh, decay of the, of the scalar, which is given uh, uh, in this case, in, in this formula. And uh, this, uh, uh, this abundance uh, is an isocurvish abundance, uh, which is constrained uh, by, uh, by, by CMB. Uh, so in particular, the amplitude uh, of uh, isocurvature perturbation should be less than the 10 to minus uh, uh, 11 uh, at, uh, uh, at the uh, scales of CMB. And so this uh, uh, implies that uh, you should have, uh, uh, that the, uh, the dark photo should be much lighter than the, uh, uh, than the, the, the radio mode for this to be, to be alive. Yeah. You can also consider the opposite regime uh, where it's lighter. In that case, uh, it will be stable and uh, have its own uh, either curvature uh, perturbations. Yeah. So it will be a component of that part. Anyway, here the, the point is not so much to, uh, you know, to, uh, to tell you this model, but to show you what is the difference that may arise. Uh, there is uh, other complications uh, uh, that are due to, uh, to interactions because when you, intera you have interactions, uh, the system may also thermalize and uh, this would change the balance. Uh, so this is reproduced in this plot uh, uh, along with these, uh, uh, these lines. So, so the, uh, the uh, Stuckerberg dark matter, uh, so the dark photo dark matter, uh, production from inflation, it gives you this line and you need a small uh, uh, gauge coupling. If you go to large couplings, uh, then uh, you have a new contribution which comes from thermalization of the system, uh, and uh, uh, so that the balance is uh, reproduced along uh, uh, along these lines. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, uh, another issue that uh, comes uh, about uh, once you go to interacting theories that you cannot forget. Okay, sorry, you have yeah. to understand this in this um, thermalization mm -hmm. is after inflation. After inflation. Okay. So these modes re-enter; they have yeah. sufficient yeah. energy, yeah. and uh, uh, with thermalizing, then you will have that. Uh, for example, that photon just uh, free, freezes out. Uh, yeah. So there is many details, but uh, uh, it's better. Yeah. So we can keep it simple for this discussion. So let's go to the uh, opposite regime, which is uh, when uh, the Hubble during inflation is bigger than F, uh, which is when uh, uh, the symmetry is restored during inflation. Okay. Uh, so let me consider uh, first the, the case of the conformally coupled case at C equal to one sixth. Uh, so in this case, you have uh, uh, this potential, uh, which, has, uh, uh, which is dominated by the, the math term uh, of, uh, 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 from uh, proportion to the, uh, to the sorry. So you have a mass uh, from the conformal coupling, which is uh, uh, two uh, HI square. Um, and so, uh, what you find in this uh, in this limit is that the symmetry. So, the, in the during inflation, the minimum of the potential is equal is at, at five equal to zero, which means the symmetry is restored. Yeah. Now, it's true that the symmetry is restored, but it is uh, actually quite different uh, from uh, uh, what people normally say uh, for the action during inflation. Yeah, because uh, when people talk about the action during inflation, people would tell you about uh, uh, inflation or perturbations. Okay. Here, there is no inflation perturbation because for this coupling, uh, uh, you have a, uh, uh, you, you have a, uh, so the, the inflation perturbation are, are suppressed. 
well, formally equal to zero. Uh, and so this is a, a, just a classical uh, a classical effect. Yeah. It would also be true for, for the action. It doesn't change the conclusion, but it does change the physics. Um, Okay, so the symmetry is restored during inflation. Uh, eventually, uh, during radiation reheating, the system becomes unstable, and uh, uh, so the symmetry is broken, uh, and you have the standard story that uh, uh, you form a string network that, uh, uh, through the keyboard mechanism, and uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this string network goes in a scaled regime, uh, that is which is sustained by the emission of whatever you can emit in the system, uh, in, in, uh, of whatever you can emit. Which in this case uh, uh, is uh, uh, is the dark photon, and from this uh, you get uh, uh, you get an abundance uh, uh, which I wrote here, okay? uh, which is uh, essentially the same uh, estimate uh, uh, that uh, you would do for uh, for axons. So in fact, uh, all the uncertainty that you have for axons, uh, they are also here. Okay? Um, let me mention that uh, uh, this will be important in the second part. Notice that uh, you have a, a phase transition, so you gain some energy. This energy will go into the system, uh, and this uh, uh, could, uh, uh, could uh, uh, contribute to the balance. For this case, uh, it's not uh, uh, relevant, it's a small effect, but it will be important what, uh, in the second uh, uh, part that, uh, uh, that I will discuss. So for xi equal to zero, then uh, here you are in the standard uh, action uh, uh, discussion. Okay, so the argument is that uh, you have inflationary uh, perturbations, uh, uh, which are uh, uh, proportional, which are of the order Hubble divided by two pi, and so the, the so this inflation perturbation uh, restores the symmetry. Uh, in fact, the situation is more complicated than this. Uh, uh, it's not really discussed very often, but uh, uh, so the, uh, the, the real uh, whether the symmetry is restored or not actually depends uh, uh, on the quartic coupling that determines uh, on which scales the, the field is coherent in our universe. Uh, in fact, uh, so uh, also here, uh, you find uh, uh, the issue that uh, uh, the, the field file is uh, produced with uh, uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, isocurvature perturbations, uh, and this uh, uh, gives you a bound. So in practice, uh, uh, in order to avoid the bound, uh, you need to have the couplings uh, of order one. I don't know if point one is sufficient, but certainly uh, zero zero point one uh, it, it should be it, it will be problematic. Yeah. And uh, uh, so I didn't give you many details, but uh, I think this is actually interesting to, to clean up uh, even for actions because uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's one of the uh, most uh, discussed scenarios uh, uh, for actions. Uh, do you, so, do yeah. you, do you require that to make the correlation length small enough so that you don't have a problem in, in cosmological scale? Is that the logic? Yes, uh, yes. So, so if uh, uh, yeah. lambda is smaller, yeah. if lambda is smaller, yeah. really uh, is not correct to say that the symmetry uh, is uh, uh, is restored, yeah, because the uh, well the field phi complex field phi has a bad yeah. in a, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. has a bad, yeah. and then uh, uh, instead if uh, uh, lambda is bigger, it becomes uh, very homogeneous in our in our patch, but. Uh, uh, quantitatively is not so clear uh, what is uh, really needed. Yeah. So this is discussed uh, in a paper on meat, as far as I know. Yeah. But uh, uh, normally uh, when you go to action uh, uh, talks, uh, so they tell you, well, HI bigger than F, the symmetry uh, yeah. is uh, is restored and uh, yeah, yeah. there is no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe lit? Which who said he, uh, uh, I think David Lee. There is two Lee. No, no, no. Ah, no I'm sure if I hear well. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes. I think it's a paper of Lee and Stewart. Yeah. Okay. Quite old. Okay. Yeah. But from that paper, I had the impression that people took uh, away the message that uh, yeah. HI bigger than F is, uh, is okay, and uh, that was it. Uh -huh. yeah. I'll be happy to discuss more about this. Yeah, so, uh, for 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 this discussion is really the same for the axon. Okay, so so summary. It's actually complicated if you realize the dark photon, dark matter uh, 
with the Higgs mechanism, which is a, in, a sort, in, in a sense for somebody that learns the somehow the most conservative thing that he can do. Uh, and uh, it's also uh, model dependent. So if you really want to recover the technology uh, of uh, Stuckerberg dark matter, that was on dark matter, uh, you really have to go to uh, to very small couplings, which are uh, rather in impossible, in my opinion. Uh, the other message uh, is that, uh, uh, in general, uh, as a curvature constraints are back to life, uh, and this can only be avoided in a structural way uh, if you have a theory which is very invariant. Okay? Uh, so this uh, sort of motivates uh, uh, Considering uh, uh, theories which are very variant, uh, where essentially production during inflation is very suppressed. So this was the first part. How much time do I have? Like uh, it'll be short. Ten. Ten. Oh, perfect. Ten each minute. Okay. Perfect. So a spin-off for this discussion uh, was this paper that we brought recently uh, with Andrea: uh, How to produce dark matter from a uh, from a phase transition. So I will consider uh, now the case where Hubble with inflation is much bigger than uh, uh, the scale, uh, the mass scale uh, that you have in your field, which is the mass term or a dynamical scale. And uh, uh, based on the previous consideration, I will also uh, uh, focus on violent violent dark sectors. It might be possible to extend this discussion beyond the uh, violent violent dark sectors. Uh, I don't know if it's necessary because uh, you know, by that, by, by that set of the same very generic, uh, but the, the discussion will be anyway a bit more complicated. So I will uh, strictly focus on by, by that sector. And to explain the argument, uh, let me go back to uh, the conformally coupled scalar. Okay. So I consider a conformally coupled scalar, but uh, uh, let me also add uh, uh, an interaction, okay? lambda five to the fourth. Now, if uh, mu square is uh, greater than zero, uh, so if and the lambda is not uh, is not too large, uh, the dynamics uh, for particle production is still determined by uh, by uh, the the free theory, and uh, uh, so you can just determine part, particle production. Uh, is actually uh, uh, particle production happens uh, when this condition uh, is met. Uh, so when a Hubble is equal to m uh, and is equal to uh, k divided by a. And this uh, uh, H equal to M is something that, uh, uh, because of my condition here, is, will be realized during the reheating or during the radiation. So if it if it happens during radiation, uh, you can compute the uh, the production uh, uh, exactly, in fact, with Bogoliv coefficients, uh, and this is the result. Okay, it depends only on the mass, and this uh, uh, is actually obvious uh, because uh, uh, there is a, that's the only parameter in the in the theory. Okay. Uh, that's the only parameter that enters. So if you want to reproduce uh, uh, dark matter, uh, so you have a prediction for dark matter, which is, should be uh, this number here. Okay. Uh, I think this is exact. Uh, so this, uh, 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 so the bad thing is that uh, you are anabolically led, uh, in this case, uh, to, uh, to very, heavy dark, uh, heavy, very heavy dark matter. If uh, the production, uh, uh, so if this condition uh, uh, is realized during the heating, then you have a, a production during the heating, but uh, uh, it will also enter the reheating temperature uh, because you have to consider the entropy injection in the standard model to determine the abundance. And uh, uh, in this case, you find that the abundance uh, uh, is given by the formula, so uh, it's go it goes like uh, the, uh, is linear in the reheating temperature. And this uh, uh, this quantity is always smaller than this one. Okay? So this will lead to a uh, mass of that matter even even larger than this. Let me now discuss mu square less than zero. Okay. Now in flat space, uh, the minimum uh, is uh, uh, away from zero. However, during inflation, as I discussed for the dark photon, uh, the conformal coupling produces uh, uh, a positive mass. Uh, and uh, the symmetry uh, is in fact restored. So the system uh, is uh, is standing here at the origin of the uh, of the uh, of phi. So what this means is that uh, uh, after inflation, when uh, uh, Hubble drops, uh, uh, and uh, uh, when Hubble drops, uh, uh, you will have eventually uh, a phase transition uh, where you will go to the true minimum. And uh, uh, in doing so, 
you will gain uh, uh, an energy equal to the latent heat of the phase transition, which for this uh, uh, theory is uh, m to the fourth divided by 16 lambda uh, in terms of the mass uh, of the uh, uh, of the uh, of the particle at the minimum. And when does this, this happen? Well, the only scale is uh, uh, is H. So this uh, instability happens when uh, uh, H is over the realm. Okay? So with these two ingredients, you can just determine the balance, uh, estimate the balance. Uh, so again, it depends whether uh, happens in radiation or in heating. And uh, uh, you you get the, the balance, which is par par uh, with parametrically uh, is uh, identical uh, to the one that you get from particle production. And this is due to the fact that uh, uh, they're both produced when H is over the M. Yeah? But the coefficient uh, notice uh, uh, is much larger, essentially because this you see as a, a three-level effect, uh, while the other was a quantum effect. Yeah? So this makes a difference. Uh, for uh, uh, for uh, uh, the production, so uh, when you consider, uh, let me let me uh, let me mention that. Uh, uh, so so far, I consider only quantum production, but uh, as I said, uh, there is always a, a gravitational uh, production, and uh, uh, so for gravitational uh, free scene, uh, the balance that you get uh, uh, is equal uh, uh, to this uh, uh, to this quantity here uh, for the real scalar. And uh, then you, you can compare uh, uh, the uh, the quantum production with the uh, with the production from Fizin. and uh, uh, so this is what you get if you compare quantum with uh, uh, with Fizin. And so the dark matter abundance is uh, reproduced along the the black line. Uh, so uh, in uh, uh, for very high reheating temperatures, uh, you have that uh, gravitational Fizin uh, wins. Then you have this uh, tiny region where uh, the phase, where uh, the production is taking place uh, during radiation and is marginally larger than gravitational freezing. Uh, and uh, uh, if the if the reheating temperature is uh, uh, lower and lower, then uh, 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 you have that uh, uh, quantum production always win, uh, but uh, wins just because gravitational freezing uh, uh, becomes very small. Yeah. Uh, so in fact, uh, uh, you you are led to even larger masses, ten to the ten or so. Well, you can do the same thing uh, uh, if you have the uh, the phase transition. Uh, and uh, well, the difference uh, uh, is simply that the uh, the size of the effect is uh, uh, is much larger. So we have a larger region where uh, where uh, the contribution uh, uh, from uh, the phase transition is larger than. Uh, uh, the negativation of in uh, in radiation and uh, uh, and also this. Uh, uh, this line is uh, uh, is likely on the left compared to this one. Okay, so so this is the mechanism. Uh, it's very simple to discuss it for the scalar, uh, but uh, uh, what we, we believe is that this is actually zero. Okay? We believe that uh, uh, any time that a system uh, which is prepared by inflation uh, in a false vacuum state and it goes the, eventually to a phase transition, this will populate uh, to some degree the, uh, the dark sector. So another place where uh, you can uh, uh, you can uh, apply this idea is uh, uh, a well a simple model of dark matter, which is a uh, uh, global dark matter. So just take uh, uh, an extension of the sum model with uh, an abelian uh, uh, gauge group uh, with no matter. Uh, for uh, for simplicity, you can take SU3, for which you also know a lot of data from uh, uh, from the lattice. Now this uh, uh, this sector confines the life state uh, uh, is stable and is an excellent dark matter candidate. Uh, unless it, uh, well, it should not be too happy. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, you are in danger with uh, uh, decay uh, with the lifetime uh, of, the, of the dark matter. Now people normally discuss uh, uh, this scenario uh, in uh, uh, assuming that the, the sector has thermalized. Uh, so. So you assume that the sector is thermized at the dark sector temperature uh, Td, uh, uh, well, compared to the, uh, the temperature of the standard model in the relativistic regime. Okay. By making this assumption that you can get the balance, uh, uh, which is given uh, uh, by this poor macro, is uh, uh, suppressed uh, from, by uh, C cube. Uh, it goes like C cube times the dynamical scale of the theory. Okay. 
so this dynamical scale is essentially the temperature at which the uh, the sector uh, confines. So this is the thermal scenario. Now, if you are minimal and uh, uh, you want uh, just to uh, produce the balance uh, through, uh, through gravitational freezing, then you actually have a prediction uh, for this ratio temperature, uh, which however is valid only if the reheating temperature is, uh, is large. Okay? If this reheating temperature is not uh, um, so large, uh, the density that you get from gravitational freezing is so small that it does not lead to thermalization. Okay, so if you, uh, with this assumption, you will, uh, you could uh, uh, determine the balance of that matter. Yeah. But let, let me now consider the case where there is no thermalization. Okay? And this will happen, for example, if the heating temperature is less than 10 to the 13 GV. Now, if H is bigger than lambda during inflation, you have that during inflation, uh, the system uh, is deconfined. And there is many ways to see this. Perhaps the simplest one uh, is that uh, uh, the size of the seat is simply smaller than the size of the possible hadrons that you have in the theory. So in the seat, you do see a, a theory of, uh, of gluons. Uh, and uh, uh, the weekly couple theory of gluons uh, is by invariant. So there will be uh, no inflation production of gluons in this theory. But you will be in the, uh, in the deconfinement the confined phase of the uh, uh, of the theory. So, so what we expect is that the same uh, that uh, uh, that I, will, I said for the scalar will be true for uh, uh, also in this theory, and in particular when uh, uh, Hubble uh, becomes of the order of the dynamical scale uh, during the heating or radiation, uh, this uh, uh, we release the uh, uh, the latent heat of the of the phase transition. Uh, which is over the lambda to the fourth, and uh, uh, from this you get uh, uh, you get an abundance uh, uh, which is uh, uh, well similar to what the one that uh, I wrote for the uh, for the scalar. Uh, so if you uh, so from this you can uh, uh, you can plot again uh, uh, the the abundance uh, and uh, uh, you find that uh, this effect. Uh, uh, can dominate the, uh, the, the balance uh, compared to the, uh, the gravitational freezing uh, that uh, uh, compared to the gravitational freezing. Unfortunately, uh, the mass that you get uh, is quite large. Okay? So uh, then uh, uh, you have to worry about the stability of that matter. Uh, you could apply the same thing to uh, what we call a dilaton dark matter, uh, which is uh, uh, well uh, the analog of the global dark matter in uh, uh, strongly coupled conformal field theory is uh, uh, large gen uh, that is realized in particular in uh, in random sample scenarios. So the parametric is uh, uh, is a bit different uh, because uh, uh, well here there is a, uh, the the potential is uh, suppressed by this parameter epsilon, which is small uh, in this uh, in this type of constructions, I could go into more details, but uh, uh, I think that uh, uh, well, uh, so the what you get is uh, uh, at the end something quite similar to the uh, to the scalar. In fact, uh, even enhanced by uh, by this epsilon, uh, which I brought here. So the reason is that uh, uh, so this uh, the production is more efficient uh, if it happens later. Yeah. And uh, uh, given that uh, uh, it will happen when uh, uh, H is of order M, uh, and the, if you have a suppression, this will, will, uh, will boost the, the production. Let me also mention that this estimate, uh, they are probably conservative because uh, we assume that the phase transition completes immediately when H is equal to M. If, it, uh, if, uh, if the phase transition com completes later, this will, uh, will boost the balance. OK, so I'm ready to the end, maybe on time. Uh, so, so the main point that uh, I want to, to bring across uh, is that uh, when you talk about inflation production, which is uh, considered very minimal and unavoidable production mechanism of dark matter, uh, interactions can be important and they can change uh, uh, the conclusions. Uh, so I discussed this uh, in particular uh, in the case of the uh, uh, Stuckerberg dark matter, which is a very popular model uh, for dark matter these days. Uh, and uh, I emphasize the fact that, uh, uh, well, most of the literature focuses on uh, uh, the Stuckerberg construction, but uh, uh, you can also realize this through the X mechanism. 
And uh, uh, if you do so, the technology is, uh, is very different. And in particular, problems that uh, are solved by the uh, Stuckelberg uh, uh, construction are, be are back to life uh, uh, for what concerns uh, as a curvature constraints. Uh, in fact, uh, if you think about as a curvature constraints uh, uh, on very general grounds, uh, uh, you, you may uh, like uh, uh, starting from uh, a value Marian theory, which is safer from this point, from this uh, type of constraints. Uh, a spin off of this work was uh, uh, the, the possibility to populate the dark sector from nothing. Uh, so just by starting uh, from uh, uh, a state uh, uh, which is a false vacuum, uh, uh, which is, uh, seems a, 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 an automatic uh, uh, initial condition uh, uh, due to inflation in, uh, in, in these type of models. Um, it's not so nice that uh, uh, in this, uh, this, uh, the production is really connected to, uh, to gravity because the control parameter of the phase transition is a Hubble itself. Uh, at the technical level, uh, it's at least very clear for the scaler. Uh, if you want to go to interactive theories, uh, uh, this will require a, a, an understanding uh, of non-thermal phase transitions uh, uh, in this type of theories, which is uh, uh, which are not uh, very much studied. Uh, so I stop it here. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Uh, is there any question? No. Nothing. Is it correct to say that um, one of the main differences between this Stuckelberg and Higgs mm. um, constructions is that in the, in the Higgs case, the scalar is kind of dynamical, where we don't have that in the Stuckelberg? Uh, certainly. But if you want to realize it dynamically, then this uh, uh, will take you to this uh, very funny region uh, of uh, small couplings. So in the Higgs uh, theory, the only way to say that uh, uh, the radio model is not uh, participating in the dynamics is to say that it is a heavy. Yeah. But this is a, uh, is a bit at odds with the fact that you would like the dark photon to be, to be very light. Yeah. So, so that's why you have to play with, uh, with small couplings to realize this. So from the point of view of the Higgs theory, uh, while this you, this is not the regional parameter space that, that, uh, that you, you would look at. Do you get the right abundance for that matter? I mean, does it work as a model for that matter? Yeah, certainly, yeah. No, there is a vast difference because uh, for uh, uh, in the Stuckerberg case, uh, uh, you get uh, uh, you can get very light dark matter. Yeah. Also in this case, uh, you can get light dark matter. For example, if you if you have a uh, if it's produced through the screen network. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but then if you did the non-abelian thing, then the for, the, for, an, non -abelian, for the non-abelian theory, uh, there is no option then of to cover theory. Yeah. 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 But even for the abelian uh, theory is uh, something that uh, uh, in particle physics normally you would not do. Yeah. People don't think to add to the standard model uh, a Stuckelberg Stuckelberg mass for the upper charge, even though you could. Yeah. So in the strongly coupled uh, mm -hmm. things you were considering towards the end, yeah. uh, uh, these are not strictly going to be you know vial invariant. Uh, you know, even above the confinement scale, the coupling is running slowly. Does this have a Oh, significant effect on on these pictures also in the so, uh, yeah. sort of holographic, you know, Randall's yeah, yeah. No, there is a, there is so a deviation. Yeah, this will be studied. Uh, I didn't present it here, but uh, so uh, in both cases there is a uh, uh, some tiny uh, population uh, that is produced due to inflation, but uh, is produced is uh, uh, well is controlled by the breaking of uh, of conform of uh, of valley variance. Which is given by the beta functions of the theory, yeah. uh, and we actually did compute this, uh, and it's super tiny. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's super tiny. It is really. It's also true for the gauge theory. Yeah. The gauge theory has a running, yeah. and uh, uh, this running uh, 
leads to uh, to some part of production, but uh, it's so tiny that uh, it's really irrelevant. In fact, it's controlled by the anomalous dimension of the operator directly. So in practice, uh, uh, you can consider the initial state uh, as uh, as completely empty. What is difficult uh, uh, and will be interesting is really to, to follow the phase transition uh, uh, in this case, because you have you have a known term of phase transition. Yeah. So in the case of the uh, gluons, probably is uh, absolutely impossible to discuss it. But in the case of holographic theories, maybe that is possible. Maybe you are thinking about, about this already. Right? So yeah. another question I have is, uh, so somehow you're uh, uh, sequestering this sector from the standard model, mm -hmm. uh, but I could add, you know, that there are symmetry allowed couplings that would mix these uh, these sectors, like you know, the kinetic mixing with the, the U one guy and then things like this. So, uh -huh. uh, uh, well, how are you? So, and, for example, you, actually, you know, kill kill these allowed couplings in the in these models, especially when you have the very very heavy dark matter. No, uh, uh, so I think the. Uh, so dimension six operators uh, are are probably there, okay? but for, below dimension six, uh, I think those uh, those are really not there. Well, I have we have kinetic mixing, you know, with uh, your, 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 your your dark U U one. Yeah. Ah, if I do uh, for uh, for the dark things, okay, for uh, uh, coupling for coupling between the scalar and uh, so you're talking about this part stuff, right? How am I? No, these are. I, well, I mean that's a different uh, discussion. Of course, uh, uh, I also don't like uh, kinetic mixing ten to the minus uh, sixteen. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> but this, uh, so these are the, the mixing to the to the standard model. Okay. This is another story that you may want to discuss. But there is ways out. Okay. For example, you might say, well, the standard model. Uh, You're somewhere actually to the right of this. I guess for your uh, dark photon. Ah, yes, yes, getting yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, for the dark photon, uh, uh, I can, in some cases, I can do it. Uh, uh, it can be light. Okay? So the second part has not to do with dark photon. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just to explore that photo, we notice this uh, possibility to populate the dark sector through the phase transition. Yeah. Um, so about this kinetic mixing, you are saying why uh, I. Is this a problem or not? Okay. Uh, well, it's not nice, but there is ways out. Okay. For example, if you believe in unification on a standard model, then you do express uh, you do expect a very strong suppression of, of kinetic mixing. You cannot you cannot you cannot write uh, directly the the coupling to hypercharge. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just one yeah. final question. So, you gave a couple of examples in. The end about the phase transition, mm. uh, but you said that you believe in something more, more no, general. So we do believe, uh, well, for example, let's think about gluons. I think it's robust the fact that uh, uh, during inflation, uh, uh, the system is prepared in the unbroken phase, in the confined phase, mm -hmm. uh, uh, with uh, essentially in the bottom, with no particles uh, around. Okay? And then uh, eventually <coughs> you will uh, have to transition to the uh, to the confined vacuum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what is not really clear is uh, how much energy density will be produced and when. Yeah, exactly when. Yeah, it will be the only parameter is uh, Hubble and lambda, so it'll be uh, controlled by by lambda. But uh, uh, I don't know exactly how long it will take. Yeah. And this makes a difference at the level of the of the balance. Okay. Uh, and also, I mean, I expected that the energy that is released is compare, compare, comparable to the latent heat uh, uh, that is known uh, in uh, uh, for this uh, 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 for this theory. But the, this latent heat refers to a thermal phase transition. Yeah. Here, I don't have a thermal phase transition, okay. so it's not necessarily the same. Okay. In fact, I don't even know how to ask this question really to compute to compute it. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this other case, okay, uh, of uh, random sample scenarios, okay, mm -hmm. the way you do the computation, it looks more that uh, 
uh, morphine and this killer. Yeah. Uh, so you have a false vacuum, and then you have a you have total potential. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's thank Michele again.